guys it's me diving back at it again with another video sorry y'all it's just been so hard to film i've been like super busy these past couple of days um so the turn of it becoming christmas you know kind of collectively skipped thanksgiving this year i just wanted to give you guys like a little christmas look um and this was like this is like a look that was inspired by Queen B herself, you know. Um, I know you guys see like the picture. What the hell? Uh, I know you guys see the picture of like Beyonce when she was like maybe like 18, 19 years old. And it's like, it circulates around the internet. Like when she was like, uh, like I think 18 or 19 years old. And she had this look. And it was just so pretty. And I was like, okay, I want to recreate that look. And that's exactly what I wanted to do today. And I'm very happy that I executed it. Um, it kind of went, it goes. Um, but yeah, it's like a 2000s winter tutorial for you guys based upon Queen Bee herself. I could not find the hat for nothing. Um, zoomed out, sorry. I could not find like her white hat for anything. So I was like, let me just get this little hat that's been shedding with sparkles all morning. But I was like, okay, but at least I got the look right. Like. I think I did like a 10 out of 10 on this look. Honestly, this was so cute to do. Like I really like doing it. Plus I had this hair that is like, it's just like my transition hair guys. Like you know the transition hair like when you're about to get a new one, but you don't really have one to wear right now. Like this is my transition hair. So I was like, she had this blonde hair. Let me just do that. Let me try to do this look and I did that. And it took me some time, but it was fun. It was fun as hell. I love this video. And if you're not already, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment, and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. I really hope you guys would like enjoy this. If you want me to do more recreations of like celebrity looks, because I enjoy doing celebrity looks, I will do it. This was my, this is like the best look to, to me. Like it's minimal it's not too much but it's still enough and you know it's based upon the 2000s like they wasn't going crazy with their stuff so yeah it's based upon my favorite decade so yeah if you guys want me to do more videos like this just comment below but right now i think we're about to get into the video and i hope you guys enjoy make sure to oh my god my package is here i know he just seen me <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and let's get into the video. My other two elves. Okay, what's up, guys? Okay, so I started out this video prepped and primed and ready to go. You know what it is? So we're going to get into our eyebrows first. And if you watch my previous videos, you know that I used that BH Cosmetics on my eyebrows just to fill that in. Because Beyonce had, like, thin eyebrows at the time. Like, uh, I just wanted to give, like, that little bit of something, you know? To like make it sparkle, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you know. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fine, and we are gonna shape those bad boys, cause we gonna get them thin. We gonna get them thin like the 2000s, period. And then we just going to. What am I doing? Am I wiping it away? I, I'm blending it in. That's what it's called. That's, that's what I'm doing. I'm blending it in, and then I'm just. Putting some concealer like as my base for for my eyeshadow. And then I'm using the Java's Place pamphlet. And we're just gonna use like this. I don't even know what that color is called. It's just brown. I just needed a brown, like a neutral brown. Um, and that's the only one I could find. So it is what it is. I'm sorry. And then we're gonna take Netbox 15 color shadow pamphlet and we're gonna use true blue. It's that little not not that orange color. It's that brown color. Brown. <laughs> Love it. I am it. Period. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we just blend that in. And then we're going to go to the Morphe pamphlet. We're going to go to the Morphe pamphlet. Put some Morphe on it. And we're just going to use another brownish looking neutral color. Because that's what it's about. That's what we heard. You know what I mean? You feel me? I mean, it was kind of cute. I didn't even go lie. Like, it was fun. Like, it's be fun blending that eyeshadow in. I don't know. I really wonder, like, how it would feel if I was doing it to other people. Like, I don't know. And then we're going to use another little neutral color. But that's going to give us a little bit of edge. It's kind of like my secret to not technically a smoky eye, but just, like, 
a little bit of darkness if you need it on your eyeshadow. So then after that, after that, we're going to crease our eyelids to get that perfect shape. I think that I'm saying that's right. Well, we're going to crease the eyelids to get the perfect shape. Y'all see, what, see what's going on here. Y'all see this. Y'all see this. And then we're going we're gonna to do it to both of them because it just needs to be done. <laughs> I don't know. But the way I be doing it, I'm going to use my finger. And it's that bright color. I use my middle finger because sometimes the brushes do not be getting it for me. And they don't be doing it for me. And they be moving kind of dumb. They be moving kind of dumb. And I don't be liking it at all. <laughs> See, you see how perfect that came out? Now, if I was to use a brush, it would be everywhere. I'm telling you, it would be everywhere. Sometimes you just can't follow the rules, you know what I mean? And then we're going to use the same color. We're going to put a little bit in that crease because, you know, in that picture, Beyonce had, like, some in her crease. And then it was, like, really cute. It was, like, real cute, you know what I mean? And then we're going to do an eyeliner. We're going to do an eyeliner. We're going to do um, a simple, not too big, not too bold, just a little. And then I'm... I think I put a little bit in my corner. Yeah, to give my eyes that like sharp look. I love doing that. And then these were the last pair of my lashes. And these took so many tries to put these on. I was like, am I putting these on right? Little did I know they just go on like that. So that's what we did. We put these lashes on. I'm gonna link those below. I'm gonna link all the products below, guys. So if I don't mention them in here, they're gonna be linked below. Don't worry. Don't worry. And then we're going to put on some color corrector from Netbox. Now, see, this, this is great. I think, however, though, I think I'm going to try a green color corrector next time. Because I think my undertones might be a little greenish. I don't know. But, yeah, we just blended that in. Like, it's our business. Because it is. Period. Point blank. And then we're going to put some Fenty. I think that was 430. Fenty 430. Yup. On my face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she kind of looking good, though. See, at this part, I be feeling myself because I be like, damn. Like, usually when my eyes are done, it, it just goes down for me at that point. And then we're going to use some more LA Girl Concealer and just kind to put that on our face. Make sure it is spreaded out evenly. And then we're just going to blend that in. Make sure you guys wet the Beauty Blender when you do that first, though. I don't think I did this one but I usually always do um it gives you better and then we're gonna use 50 beauties contour and we're just gonna contour our nose because Beyonce in that photo did not look like she had on much contour um but her nose was a little small so I wanted to get that precision going on right there I look at when you move it right there right there hey hey boop, boop. okay and then I'm trying this new press powder and this is like the banana deep i think from revolution i don't know it'll be linked down below too but i love this i love this translucent powder it is the bomb it really is and it does my face justice like do y'all see that do y'all see her oh she looking kind of good uh, she kind of looking good though oh my god i would marry myself no cap Oh, and then we're just going to use some blush because in that photo, she looked like she had a little rosy cheeks. Like, they wanted to give her, like, that minimum rosy. But I think that's the last thing I really put on my face. Because um, she didn't have a lot. It was a very minimal type, neutral look. And it was dope. It was cute. And then we're just going to put some highlighter on. Like, yes, because you want your nose to be, like, essential. And then we're just going to have some liner, some Netbox lip liner and brownie. Just gonna line our lips not too crazy not too crazy at all oh my goodness jesus i am so pretty. okay so then we're gonna have some lip gloss we're just gonna put some lip gloss on it oh my god nah for real y'all if y'all would marry yourself like this because i totally would and then we're gonna put some nyx setting spray to keep it all in place that stuff be keeping my makeup in place all day and then let's go do our hair period point blank don't know why i'm doing it but i'm about to go do my hair and that's on what that's if on you actually made it to the end congratulations you get the candy bar because period poop um thank you guys so much for watching this video i really had a lot of fun doing this video and doing this look specifically um 
this look is like it was like minimal it was cute and i was like okay let me do it let me let me just get something real quick this is what we're at this is how the look came out um make sure you guys like subscribe and comment and yeah i really don't have much to say at the end like thank you for watching this long thank you for actually getting to the end because some people are just special um i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video